And I want to point out, Lewis. Yes. If you let me do this one, I, you got let me do this tonight. Tonight, sitting with the band, the wonderful St. Vincent is here tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. I, uh, I, you guys are just doing Martha, My Dear uh, by the Beatles. I just want to say, I don't know if I ever told you this before. I know, we, we, you know we've had you on the show before. We've talked before. Your, your uh, cover of Dig a Pony, I think, might be better than the Beatles' Dig a Pony. Woo. OK? Yeah. Don't tell John Lennon I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Say, thank you. I mean, if, if I can make a request this week, could any chance I could get a little Dig a Pony? Absolutely. Wow. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is working out. <laughs> uh, uh, also, okay, coming out here in just a little while, uh, our friend Charlemagne the God will be out here That's in just right. a moment. He's got the new show, Hell of a Week, from Comedy Central. And, uh, and from uh, Stranger Things, uh, one of the stars, uh, Brett Gelman, will be out here in just a little while. <laughs> I'm driving team. You know, folks, <laughs> I spend most of my time right over there selecting the day's biggest, most important news, carefully laying it out on a story canvas, mixing chroma hue and value in an elegant and topical dance to create for you the subtle, moving, and timeless Claude Monet magnum opus that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I wake up in an abandoned train car, scavenge some leftover instant noodles and the chewing gum out of the mouth of a sleeping hobo, and then stick it all to the back of a scrap of carpet to present the drifter's macaroni art of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile... It's a sedative. Meanwhile... On Sunday, Jennifer Lopez celebrated her 53rd birthday with a nude photo shoot to promote her new firm and flaunt targeted booty balm. What? Come on, J-Lo. Come on. I mean, you look great, but that's my thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, are you ready for even more football? The NFL hopes so, because they're launching their own streaming service for the first time called NFL Plus. It's a similar model to CNN Plus, but with viewers. So, <laughs> what do you get with NFL Plus? I'm going to tell you. The subscription includes an all-out-of-market preseason games, live mobile device access to local and primetime regular season and postseason games, and NFL network shows on demand and archived NFL films programming for $4.99 a month making it by far the most economical way to tell your spouse, I've given up on this marriage. <laughs> a long walk. That was a really long walk. <laughs> Worth the wait. We, all, we got there together, though. <laughs> Meanwhile, a goat in Pakistan has gone viral for having ears so long, they dangle 23 inches. When choosing a name for this animal with comically large ears, the owner chose the most logical Disney character, Simba. <laughs> really, not Dumbo. Check it out. I found this reindeer with a nose that glows red. Say hello to Garfield, the red-nosed reindeer. <laughs> he loves lasagna. <laughs> Meanwhile, trend experts say that these days more people are dating without drinking and that they prefer to meet potential partners for coffee, a favorite hobby, or a stroll. Okay, coffee and a stroll I get. But hobbies can be pretty specific. Hey, uh, so for our first date, I'm thinking you come over to my place and watch me paint my Warcraft figurines. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be sober the whole time. <laughs> Meanwhile, looking for an affordable place to live in New York City, how about this one-bedroom Brooklyn sailboat for rent at $600 a month where you shower, quote, at a nearby gym? <laughs> It's open concept in that you must be open to the concept of watching old men blow dry their groins. <laughs> if that seems a little low rent for you, a Hamptons home with a $1 million TV just sold for $30 million. The $1 million TV is 8 feet tall, 18 feet wide by a fire pit. It's hydraulic and pops out from the ground, dropping back in if it's raining. Also makes a handy wall against which you'll be lined up and shot when the revolution comes.
Meanwhile, Velveeta just released a liquid mac and cheese martini. It's the perfect drink for anyone who says, I want to get drunk and eat fondue, but I don't want to dirty two dishes. <laughs> this affront to God is a riff on a dirty martini that features Velveeta cheese-infused vodka stirred with olive brine and dry vermouth, garnished with Velveeta-stuffed olives, jumbo size Velveeta cheese shells, and a cheese drip. <laughs> and it's called the Veltini, which beat out their original name, a cry for help. <laughs> because we're special, we were able to get our hands on a Veltini. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> We'll be right back with Charlemagne the God.